Why is the sound not working? Mm. Either way. I really wish I had an elytra. I mean, at some point I should probably go creeper hunting so I can get a uh, charge creeper for the inevitable piglin head update, but you know. I'm just going to zoom around for now. Oh. And it's gone. <sighs> Finally. Now, uh, I killed it immediately because I have been trying to get a raid for ages. Yeah, I'll just, you know, I'll kill them with looting because or not. I want the crossbows. Okay, pause on that. You know, it's going well, but I have a priority. Um, now, I'm going to need to block up there as well, but priority will be blocking up the ones immediately available, the ones downstairs, uh, should be fine. Oh boy, I have barely any time to get this done. Okay. Iron Golem. Okay, they're over there. Good. Right, I could use a shield. I don't have a shield. I'll have to make one later. Actually, I can probably ensure these guys are fine by staying over here, which means they'll all spawn over there. Oh, that's good. Now I've got two iron golems. Admittedly, the real thing I want are, well, totems of undying and these guys' heads. Oh, neat, I've got a couple of bows and crossbows. Oh, for Pete's sake. I'm so undeniably bad at this game. It's almost funny. Not my smartest of move there. I could really use a shield. Cool. Oh, where's the what? Oh, yeah, it's over here. I have an actual bow somewhere and more arrows. Somewhere in here is a bow. Bow. Arrows. See, I haven't seen any of the Totem of Undying guys. But, you know. Oh, there we go. There's one. There we go. Come on, I need your heads. I need your heads. Yes! Where's the remaining radar? Oh, you're stuck in there. Okay, cool. Go on, I'm doing with you. Oh, there they are. Trampling through my crops. Oh no, those are probably dead now. Wow. Oh! Neat. Uh. Let's see how many of these guys are still alive then. Oh, neat. All three of them are. Yay! That's fair. Now, are all of these guys still alive? Oh, the butcher. Dog fur. You and you. Wonderful. You're all still alive. Notes. Where can we delete it for now? I have that one. So. Blah, 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 blah. Blah. Use a totem of undying. Done. That should now be on. 25. I have killed a Ravager, I have killed a Vindicator. Um, so I did 5 tits, so that's 2 down. Evoker and Vex. Uh, 
So 6, 3, 7, 8, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Okay, so I no longer need the question mark. What was it then? Pillager of you know what, not really the point. Um not really the point. That's kind of funny though. Okay. I just forgot to write it down. Oh yeah, because I got that ages ago. When before I had villagers. Now and why this looks a bit like a bowl, but uh, there's a reason for that. A reason I will get to later. Well, no, not later. Well, later for me, but not for you. Well, I was going to show a uh, time lapse, but that didn't really work because you can't see the water layer going up by me. This is a much better demonstration. And now I'm, you know, in the water. Inconvenient. All right. So, this is how many moss blocks I have up left after all of that. Uh, so thirteen out of my stack. I think I started with. You know, not the worst. Um, this is my axolotl breeding program, I guess, in the hopes of getting the cyan. I think it's called. Well, the the really rare ones. And I am. How did you escape? How, how did you escape? Come back here. Get back in the pen. Yeah, every now and then. On the escape. I think they get caught in that section. On one hand, I love that they're dumb enough to get into the pit. I'm pretty sure they get into it if it's full of lava. I can show them beat at this point. Um. And I'm now just magenta and pink sheep left, which admittedly means the only things left that I can actually get um, within here is nitwit, which is going to be tedious, which vex pillager vindicator evoker will require another raid, which um, don't seem to spawn very much. Jeb sheep, obviously. None of these guys. None of these guys. Actually, yeah, no, none of these guys. None of these guys. Oh, except you. Which, um, you know, it's gonna have to happen eventually. But only, I think they've got a 100% guaranteed drop rate, so only once I've already got two of them, uh, bred them for the third, and then I will have two blue and one will be the sacrificial blue axolotl. Um, stray. I can get a stray. It will be a nightmare, but I can get a stray. Um, and then literally everything in Chesterfall. Oh, except the Ender Dragon. You're going to be tedious. You're going to be... Those two are going to be tedious, and they're going to rely on me finishing somewhat uh, spawn-proofing... Well, ghast-proofing my, my nether section. Magma Cube, I just need to find um, a Bastion with a spawner that I haven't destroyed. Which shouldn't be too hard. Skeleton. You know, I'm going to need four of those. So I can... Oh, no. Hang on. I'm going to need more than four of those if I want both of these. So at some point I will have a... Um, I will start making a farm for the skulls. Which will be right next to my blaze spawner. You know. Have them. Be uh, <laughs> Both of them <laughs> lowering the other spawn rates, I think. Anyway, I'm sure I can make ways for them both to be turned off. Well, actually, anyway, not really the point. I think the blaze will have more of an impact on the skeletons than the skeletons will on the blaze. So, yeah. There's that. And then there's my other slightly insaner project. Actually, no, it's not. In comparison to the original part of this project, it's not even remotely insane. But you know, I'll show the um, show the uh, 
capture the starting point and then you'll have to watch the horror that I will create. Although, essentially, what I want to be able to do is make a sort of mural on each of the walls. And now the problem with that, of course, is that, well, for one, I've got this thing in the way. Everything other than that section, I know exactly how it's going to go. And I'm thinking that section there is just going to be entirely removed. And I'll mess with it a little bit so it doesn't look as odd, but it won't be quite as long. Now, all of that is going to be moved back a block, essentially. This is where the stairs come in. That's the point of the stairs. In essence, I want at the bottom of them where the current layer is and push it back a bit, a block. So I can, you know, if I want to use concrete powder, I can use it. Um, if I want to use dead coral, I can then use, actually to be fair, if you put dead coral in water, it doesn't go back to being that. Anyway, I think it will look better if it's pushed push back a block. Just sort of have a, that haze of water and the block of air might, anyway, I think it will look better this way. So that's what I'm doing. Nothing below this will be changed. Just this bit, and that will be the last section I go on to. Start on these walls and move around. 